Oh, hi, Nick. How are you? Hey, I'm doing good. How are you, Josh? Yeah, I'm doing great. Thank you. And and thank you for taking the time to, to talk with me today because I'm a big fan of this movie. I was really impressed what you brought to the film. And I know I've read you were a big Hunger Games fan before signing up for the project. So what did it mean to get the call to come on board and, and to play this character of Jessup? Um, it was very just like surreal is the best way I could describe it just because you know I grew up reading the books and watching the movies and so um, when I first got the audition I was like oh shoot like another Hunger Games like this is crazy and um, you know I didn't hear back for like a month after my first audition but then you know once I got further in the process I was like oh wow this is actually feels like it's getting real and then yeah once I got it it was just like and it was, you know, it was a dream come true, you know, it was like seeing those movies and stuff. That was the stuff that like inspired me to want to become an actor and stuff uh, with Jennifer Lawrence and and uh, Woody Harrelson and, and Elizabeth uh, Banks, like all of them, just incredible performances. So I was just very grateful that I get to be like a little part of that world, you know. Oh, that's awesome. And of course, your character forms this really close. And I think they, well, from as soon as we meet them, that bond with Lucy. So to work with Rachel on that, what did that look like for you both? Because again, like I said, we're thrown into the relationship between them and you can tell they're already quite firm friends, I think, when they got off that train. Yeah, I mean, I think it's funny because, you know, they're thrown into the relationship together and we literally were pretty much thrown into the relationship together because, you know, the first week, or I can't, I started filming the second week of filming since my, the first week I caught COVID. So Rachel had just come from London doing another project. And then, so we just met the first day. We were like, Hey, like, how's it going? Nice to meet you. And then we did, you know, like my final scenes in the arena where I'm like chasing her and she's like supposed to cry over my body and stuff. Um, so it was funny that we, you know, had to establish our relationship pretty quickly, but she's just like the coolest so funny so sweet and like I, we just hit it off like right off the bat so luckily because of that and like our chemistry from the jump was so good i think that just helped with the rest of the shoot um just keep that relationship going and you know make sure that we did have that bond and chemistry for the for the cameras yeah and what was would you say it was quite tough to then obviously the opposite of that when your character Jessup, he he loses control, and obviously because of the rabies, and he goes after Lucy. You know, it's a completely different side to him. He's not in control, so was that must yeah. have been interesting to explore too. Yeah, that I think honestly was the most challenging and fun part about playing Jessup, just because you know I had to figure out the progression of how he did like devolve into madness and especially because we did shoot out of order yeah. um like yeah. very out of order <laughs> like i did my, fir my first scenes last my last scenes first so i really had to map out exactly what that looked like um you know i did a lot of research and a lot of rabies videos on youtube which was not i don't recommend doing that but um it was just honestly it was a lot of fun and like i felt like it was i was really like able to sink my teeth into it as an actor um and it was a lot of fun because of that yeah, for sure. And, you know, unfortunately, we we don't get to see Jessup at his best because he's, you know, we assume he's bitten by the bat on the train. But yeah, what do you think his on. odds of winning the games might have been if he hadn't have had those limitations? I know it's hard to almost go down that fanfic route, but... Yeah. Well, I mean, I have thought about it, of course. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know. I think he could have been quite a contender, even though from my um, perspective, I don't think he was, like, the most, like, combative or like like I think he would have tried to protect Lucy Gray regardless of if he was um sick or not uh but I think you know he could have held his own for sure I think he could have been a sort of PETA you know because PETA was also strong mm -hmm. and he could you know um he could muscle his way through things so I think Jessup would have had maybe a similar trajectory even though he might not have been as like antagonistic yeah for sure and of course to get into some spoilers you get a very memorable death scene in this movie as well. So what was that like to shoot? And then how did you find, I know you said you're kind of shooting the character's end at the beginning. Mm -hmm. So what was that like to go straight into those scenes? Um, I mean, honestly, well, I had never died in a project before, at least not <laughs> on, on camera. So it's, it's like <laughs> kind of fun to explore, you know, and figure out how exactly that works, make it look real, you know. So um, I honestly had fun dying. I know that's not a, that's a weird thing to say, but I did. Uh, and yeah, definitely, again, just since I did have to film it first, trying to 
just figure out what it looked like, you know, and figure out what exactly led up to that moment. And so just because, you know, I had to figure out all the moments before to figure out how to craft that one moment. So, um, you know, it was just, it was just figuring out, okay, what exactly happened and how do we get here in this moment? And, um, and just, you know, make it make sense and make it look, you know, real and believable. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, this Hunger Games is a huge franchise and th this is a huge movie and you're on some really impressive looking sets, you know, that you've got that zoo, then obviously the arena, even the train. So what was it like for you to be, you know, come onto a project like this and, and to be in that huge blockbuster world? It was like, I think it was a little daunting at first, mm -hmm. but uh, I think once we got all got on set and we started working, like everybody was just so cool and fun. And, I, you know, everybody, you know, a lot of the team had done this before. So they like it's not the first rodeo. So we are able to kind of just just do the work, like have fun and lean back, but also, you know, do our best work. Um, and it was funny because I, you know, talked to some of my castmates sometimes on set and we just have these moments where we're like, you know, because we're having so much fun that we'd be like, oh, wait, we're on the set of The Hunger Games. Like, you know, it's just like kind of letting it sink in like once in a while. Um, so I think just because, you know, the environment was just very like cohesive, I think that helped to like take a lot of the pressure off. Yeah. And did it help obviously having Francis Lawrence who did the other Hunger Games films, but did it help oh, a lot yeah. having him at the helm too? Most definitely. Because he like, he like took no second. He knew exactly what he wanted just from moment to moment. Again, because he's done three of these other movies before. So um, you could just tell, like, he they, like <laughs> he knows exactly what he's doing. And, you know, we we definitely put a lot of trust in him, um, rightfully earned trust because, you know, he is great at what he does. Yeah, for sure. And, you know, this is such a diverse cast. I think that's one of the coolest things about the movie. You know, there's a lot of representation for everyone, really, from top to bottom. So when you're coming onto a project like this, I know it's a massive movie and it's tempting to just sign on straight away. But is that important to you, that there is like some diversity and a real representation of our world in a movie like this one? Yeah, definitely. I was very happy coming on set and, you know, seeing as people were announced, I was like, wow, we have like, just like again like different kinds of diversity too like it just made me that much more prouder and happier to be a part of the project you know because it did have people who actually exist in our world who you don't see on screen all the time um and you know just having the opportunity to do that again in this massive blockbuster franchise like it just made it i think that much better and that much more meaningful and hopefully you know that translated to audiences as well yeah de definitely and you know, I've got to ask, obviously, you're, you're embarking on this movie career now. Does superheroes interest you at all? Are there any characters in that realm you're interested in or you're not really a fan of, of the genre? I don't know. I could, I could definitely get into a superhero thing. Uh, <laughs> I know, you know, they're obviously making a lot, like they're pulling a lot of stuff from the Marvel vault and, uh, and I mean, DC as well. So I could definitely, I don't mind dipping my toe in it uh, to see, you know, out of the superhero projects that are left, um, what I may, might have the opportunity to do. Yeah, well, fingers crossed on that. And and for this project, did you have to do a lot of training and physicality? I know obviously we're seeing Jessup decline mentally and physically, but did you still have to do a lot of work to prepare for the role regardless of that? I mean, we did. Uh, the most of these physical training that I did was we had like two weeks of stunt training in Berlin when we first got to Germany, uh, all the tributes. So... Uh, you know, they rehearsed the fight and stuff. I wasn't really involved in that, but I re I rehearsed uh, or did my my fall uh, mm -hmm. on because I was I, I did wire. So I did my own stunt in that regard, which was cool. Uh, so I had to practice that just to make sure, you know, I could do that and make it again believable and act at the same time while trying to fall correctly. Um, so that was the most, at least in terms of like stunt work and like movement and then everything else. Uh, in terms of like the physicality and like the going crazy and losing my mind. I don't know. That was just more of a kind of figure it out as I go. And again, doing the research with the videos and stuff, figuring it out, how to incorporate that into the into the character. Oh, well, it sounds like a really fun experience. And I had great fun watching the movie. So Nick, thank you so much for taking the time again. I thought you did a great job in this one. And looking forward to people who haven't seen it already checking out your performance. So thank you. Yeah, thank you so much, Josh. Have a great one. Great to meet you.